Okay, guys, welcome back. Welcome to one more week to your English class. Yes, it is a pleasure to have you here today. And I hope you had, have had an excellent weekend. You recharge your batteries. You feel full of energy for today's class. Even though your 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 time at work was hard, but you know that that is something good being in class, sharing with your classmate and being paying attention to what we're going to share. All of us. Okay, now we're going to share the screen and see what we are going to talk about today, guys. Let me check. Okay, right here. And share the screen. Ta -da! There you have. Okay, guys. There we have number five. Wait, what happened? Okay. Here we have. Okay, guys, today uh, is the uh, section number five that is called tell me about your family i think we everybody have a, a, a the majority of you oh i need to move this a little bit okay yeah, i'm going to move this right here okay i think some of you have big family some other have like a, a small family right not all the family are the same as the other. Uh, well, in my case, uh, for the side of my mom, uh, the family is big. For from the side of my dad, uh, no, they just were three, uh, three men, three men, and my mother they were six women, were were more. <laughs> it's bigger uh, from from that side of the family. Okay, guys, have you heard about the family tree, guys? The famous family tree. This is, is being listening in every place. The famous family, family tree. Have you heard about this? Who we have here in first, in, in the upper part? Who we have Your here? Parents. Those grandparents, the grandparents, the, the one that we have here, the older ones. <laughs> the older ones. Uh, okay, guys, here we have a little, yeah, this is a, a small family tree. What we are going to do, guys, if you see here, we have some empty spaces, right? We have one empty space here, another here, another here. But in this case, we have the vocabulary with the one what we are going to work for today in this slide. Well, here we have Andy. Andy, who is Andy? Is grandfather. And who do you think gonna be Marta for you? Who, who do you think from from this vocabulary that we have right here? Who do you think is gonna be Marta? Grandmother. 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 Right. Exactly. Thank you, guys. Martha is going to be grandmother. Thank you. And here we have Chris and Sarah. Oh, I, I was getting confused with the image. I saw that, that it was a man, but he said Sarah. <laughs> okay. Here is a mother. Who do you think is going to be Chris? Father. Okay, the the role of Chris is a father. Okay, let's move to all right. <laughs> yeah, my right. I don't know if it's the same right for you. <laughs> we have Donna and Manuel. Donna, but not Madonna. This is just Donna. <laughs> okay, Donna Aunt. And who do you think is going to be Manuel? Uncle. 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 Okay, uncle. Yeah, we're good. We're great. Great, great, great. Let's move 
a little bit down. Let's going to check here. Here we have San and we have Yumiko. Yumiko, those, those Korean names are very weird, Yumiko. Yumiko. I don't know why they don't use other kind of name. Okay, here we have a set, San, husband and his? Wife. 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 And wife. wife. Wife, okay, wife. Let me check right here. Uh, Henry, he's having issues with the internet. Henry's having some issues. Okay, let's move to here. Here we have Jean and Lisa. Jean and Lisa. Jean, in this case, is the brother. Who do you think is, is Lisa? Sister. Sister from Sister the vocabulary. Sister in law. Law. Okay, thank you. Sister in law. And who do you think is going to be Teresa? Yes. Teresa ah. is Donna and Manuel daughters. Who do you think is Teresa? Is causing. Is causing. Mm. Miss. Oh, no, miss, 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 miss. 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 Cozy is for boys and niece is for girls. Remember that. I always keep on my the the, the need the niece. I remember for nice that that refer to girl. And another one is for boys. Okay, niece, 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 niece. Okay, guys. And is Teresa is niece. Niece, niece. And what about Kelly and Jimmy? Jimmy, he oh. said that he's a nephew. And Kelly, who is going to be? Oh, huh? Oh. See, this is like a very weird because nephew. No, 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 no. Niece. Yeah, no, no, yeah, this is my aunt. Those are the, uh, and Diana were the aunt, aunt and uncle, right? And this calls you. I don't know, I think this is something weird right here, but it, it doesn't, doesn't apply. Here we go, I need, we need to use knees because here we have, we already use wife, uncle, sister-in-law, niece, grandmother, father, and cousin. And cousin. Or, or just that, that it just indicate that they use cousin to apply for Teresa and the niece they apply it for Kelly. It's very weird. It's very weird. But both of them, Kelly and Teresa, they, they are they are girls. Right? And causing, I think it's, it's for both. I think they, they, they are using this way for referring to, to whatever both. In this case, I don't, I, I'm not pretty sure, right? But I don't know which kind of context the, the one who create the family tree wants to apply right here. Okay, let's go to see who oh, Armando, okay. Okay, guys, next we're going to move to our next slide because we have a lot of work to do for today's class. Okay. Puntero laser right here. Okay, let's go to move this a little bit here. Okay, guys, here we have, here we say, draw your family tree for a friend's fa or a friend family tree. Then take turns talking about your family. Ask follow-up questions to get more information. For a single person, there are six people in my family. I have two brothers and, and, and a sister. For a married person, there are four people in my family. We have a son and a daughter. Okay, guys, what, what are we gonna do exactly here? I want I want some participant they want that really want to help me. Uh, and say, uh, and help me with the with the exercise, right? 
Uh, I don't know who wants to help me with your family tree. Just for example, I don't know how many, uh, in the case of Alfredo, I don't know if your case, how many, uh, how big is, is your group in your family? Alfredo? Hello? Alfredo? Alfredo, Al Alfredo Alberto, Cana, Cana Canacas. Uh -huh. Ah, Wilfredo, uh -huh. Wilfredo, my name is oh, Wilfredo. <laughs> ah, sí, Wilfredo, sorry, es que, ah, aquí está, es que me había movido la, la, la cama. <laughs> sorry, Wilfredo. <laughs> sorry, <Repeat Wilfredo>. this. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm going to repeat for you. Thank you. Uh, okay, uh, Wilfredo, I don't know how many integrants your family have uh, i don't know how many of 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 them come for your family group i don't know if you have uh children kids yes i have a two two do you have two kids no, i have two kids child you will see uh in this no, case I... you can use uh children's Ah, oh, children. Because child is mm. is, is is just only singular. for uh, singular, yeah. Mm -hmm. You okay. can you can say to kid, to child. Mm -hmm. You can say in that way. You have to to kid or to child. Two the two of them are boys or girls. Uh, one boy and one girl. One boy, one girl. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for, for helping me, Alfredo. Thank you. You're welcome. Wendy, Guadalupe. Hello over there. Hello, teacher. How, hello. How many, how many people integrate your family group? Uh, there are eight people. In my family. Oh, for including you. What? Including you. Yes, yes. Ah, yes. okay. Okay, how for the four of them, how many of them are, in this case, I think they are older, right? Or do you have John, um, John's um, be living in your house? Or just old people? Tienen peque eh, chicos pequeños o solo personas grandes en su, en su hogar? Uh, nights. Uh, nights. Eh, hey, hey, years old. Oh, one, one of nine years old and another one from eh, eight, eight years old. One is nine yes. and another one is eight. Ah, okay. But the one who has nine is a boy or a girl? Girl. 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 Okay. And the one who has eight? <laughs> mm -hmm. ¿Cómo? Uh, eh, el que tiene ocho y el que tiene nueve, ¿cómo son? O sea, eh, boys or girls? Uh, it's one, one person. Oh, the, the one who has uh, a, a the nice. One, the one eight who is year a, 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 a the girl. one who is a, a ah the one who is a, yeah. a uh, is years old. Uh huh. And the okay. the one who is eight, no nine 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 sorry, nine. is a boy. Not not. Ah okay. Only so one. Ah, solo una. De, ajá, de ocho años. Ah, only your, only your niece. Hey, Por eso le digo hey. a night, a night, a, uh -huh. or niece, no sé cómo es. Your niece. Ajá. Uh -huh. Niece, because nice is something that is good, nice. Nice. Ajá, uh -huh. my niece. It's <laughs> niece. niece. It, it is pronounced uh, niece. 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 Uh -huh. niece. Yes. Okay, thank you, thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you for helping me. Uh, what about 
Daniela, hello Daniela. How are you, Daniela? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. Okay. Daniela, how many are at home with you? How many? Uh, there are two, 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 two members. Two members? My mother and I. I am. Just you and your mother? Yes. Ah, the two of you are a woman. Okay. And the age of each one? How old are you? How old are you? Hola. Eh, repeat, please. ¿Cuántos años tiene? How old are you? My mother. And you, uh -huh. su mamá y usted. Uh -huh. My mother eh, is 51. Is 51 years old. 51. Mm -hmm. and, and you? And I am 24. 24. Yeah, oh, you're 24. You're very young. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you for helping me. Okay, Marisol de Los Ángeles. Hello, Marisol. Hello, teacher. Hello, Marisol. Marisol, how many people live at home with you? Or how many of them for your family? I don't... Uh, ah. There are four people in my family. Okay. The four of them are boys or girls, men, women. Uh, you can tell me in Spanish if, if you if you don't know how exactly to say that, you can tell me in Spanish, I will help you. Uh, I have one brother and two sisters and my mother. Oh, you have one brother, two sisters, and your mother. Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you for helping me that way. Thank you. Hey, Diana, Patricia, hello over there. Why you are so quiet today? Because it's Monday? Yeah. Because it's Monday, and I'm oh. sick. Ah, do you still sick? I still sick. But just help me with, with you're gonna be the last one. Just help me with this one. How many do you live with you at home? Uh, in my home, they are um, one, two, three, four, five, five people, including five, me, five and people. one, one year, my niece. Your um, niece is one year. Years. Mm -hmm. Four years. Four years. Your niece ah. is four years. Okay. Yes. Hmm. That's it. Oh, Ronald said, there are six people in my family and I have one brother, one sister, and one niece. It's a big group. Okay, thank you, Ronald, for sharing that. And that, that was everything, Diana. And that's it, teacher. Okay, then. Okay. Just for just uh, five people in my house. Ah, okay. Yeah, we're going to keep in that way because you are sick. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry for today, but tomorrow I hope you 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 get better soon. Okay. Tomorrow. Let's go. I hope. Tomorrow. Thank you, oh, you're welcome. Uh, okay, guys. Let's going to move to our next slide. I don't know what happened with this slide. Oh. Hi, sorry. <clears throat> okay, guys. Here we have some famous some uh, here we have some famous artists, right? And if you see if you see guy, he who we have here. 
here we have Michael Douglas, Catherine Cita Jones, and Enrique Iglesias. Here we have Julio Iglesias, Francis Ford Coppola, Nicolas Cage, uh, Ariet Benin, and Shirley McClay. McClay. Here we have a lot of famous, famous people right here, guys. Okay, guys. Here is support that we're going to hear in, in audio, but as we already know, we're still having uh, some issues with the with in, in the in the case of recording the, the audio. But let's imagine or let's say uh, in this case, who do you think is she? Catherine Theta Jones. Who do you think is she? Actress. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a <laughs> it's an actress. <laughs> you already know she's an actress. But do you who do you think is she? <clears throat> is she's Michael she's Douglas? Wife. From Michael Douglas. Mm -hmm. She is Michael. She is Michael Douglas. What? Michael no. Douglas? Husband. No, she is. Wife. She is wife. 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 <laughs> Diana. Diana, come on. Come on, Diana. She's a, she's a woman. Uh, okay. No. It's a, she's a wife. <laughs> I'm sorry. She, she is her wife. She, she, she's the wife. She's the wife. Remember. Yeah. She's the wife of Michael Douglas. And, and who do you think is Julio Iglesias? Is? Singer. Singer. Musician. Singer. The father of who? Father. Father. Iglesias. Uh -huh. Julio Iglesias is the father of Enrique Iglesias. Enrique Iglesias. Enrique Iglesias. Enrique Iglesias. And Enrique Iglesias is the. Is the son. Is the son of the Julio. Son of Julio Iglesias. Of Julio Iglesias. Julio Iglesias. Julio Iglesias. Okay. Let's move to the number three. <clears throat> Francis Ford Coppola. Who is he? Is the father. Father. Of, he the father, father of. He is the father of Nicholas Cage. Nicholas Cage. Nicolas Cage. And Nicholas Cage is the son of. Francis Ford Francis. 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 Francis Coppola. Coppola, I think, is here like a like like a music. Coca-Cola or Popola. I don't remember, but I have a a kind of music with 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 those words, Coppola or Popola. <laughs> Let's going to move to the number four. Ariet Benning. Uh, is the is that it? Is Shirley is Shirley McClay? Who is she? Wife. Daughter. Yeah. Uh, Ariet Benin is Shirley McClay? Mother. Daughter. Daughter. Yeah, she is the daughter of Shirley MacLaine. Is it a wife? Uh, I don't know if they are lesbian. I, 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 <clears throat> I don't know. I, 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 I never, I never have heard about their life. I, I, this is just something that we are inferring because I already told you at the beginning of, of this life that due to the issue that we have with uh, in recording the audios, uh, we are going to use our imagination. And the thing that I can refer of the two of them, that she is the daughter of her. But, uh, uh, Maria Wendy, but if your case is you, 
if you know all of that, if, if the both of them are... the one is crazy. <laughs> no, because nowadays... <laughs> no, because nowadays everything can happen. We don't know. Eh? Girls, girls get married with another girl. Men get married with another guy. Yeah, those are their, their likes. Or I don't know if it's dislike, but that... That's the thing that they prefer, okay? And I don't know. I, I it's, it's all of them. <laughs> yeah, Armando is okay. Armando is saying that. <clears throat> no, Maria Wendy, I saw that 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 you know some fa some facts about the two of them. And, and I couldn't research uh, a little bit more uh, of the two of them about Ariet Benning and Shirley MacLay. The only thing that I uh, I could I could infer was that one that she was her daughter. Yeah, and and, and I thought that you already know that the both of them were were a couple or or, or were married. I thought I thought you 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 knew that Maria Wendy <laughs> because I I I I could hear you that you were very serious at the moment to to share with the audience with with your classmates. <laughs> <laughs> but don't I... worry, Maria. But don't worry, Maria Wendy, because here everybody we are learning, right? Oh, don't don't worry about that. Okay, just make a little feedback in, about this section, but a little bit quickly. Okay, <clears throat> we said Michael Douglas is is what is the husband is the husband of Catherine Zeta Jones, and, and Catherine Zeta Young is the wife of. Michael oh, Douglas. Michael Douglas. Okay. Enrique Iglesias is the son of Iglesias. And Julio Iglesias is the father. Enrique Iglesias. And that's why he said, Y las quiero demasiado. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's continue. Move to the other one. And Francis Ford Coppola is the father. Father. Nicholas Cage. 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 And Nicholas Cage is the son of Francis Ford Coppola. Yeah, I think they, they, they were like Italian for the for the last name. Coppola. Coppola. Okay, and let's move to our interscopal that we have right here. <laughs> Ariel Benning is the daughter of Shirley McClay. And Shirley McClay is the Annette over yet, and I think it's Annette, right? Annette, 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 Benin, Annette Benin. Those are very weird names and very weird last name, right? Annette Coppola. This one, no, this one are popular and are easy to to say. <laughs> yeah, that, that was that was what I was thinking. Yeah, the, the, uh, and, and I and I start uh, watching Francis football. Ah, no, no, he's not Chaffee Hunter. I said, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he looks like him. He, he, he's similar, like Me him. Too. Uh -huh. they, they, and even with the bird, the monster. Even the, the glasses, the glasses. America Chapik Handel. America Chapik <laughs> America Chapik Handel. Okay. No, because everybody around the world we have we have a a, a, a twin version of ourselves. In, 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 
en alguna parte del mundo nosotros tenemos una versión gemela de nosotros mismos, ya sea en otra cultura, en otro país, pero se cree que, 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 hay, que hay eso, ¿verdad? ¿Quién quita si de aquí a allá en la China hay otro Armando y, y, y es Armando bueno para preparar sushi, ¿va? O sea, nadie quita, ¿va? Sí, nadie quita, son cosas, chicos, son cosas. <risa> Ok, let's move to our following slide. Yo pensé okay. que iba a decir karateca. ¿Cara seca? Cara seca, ¿qué? Yeah. Ah, cara seca. <laughs> don't worry, guys, don't worry for that. Ok, here we have... Oh, no. oh, asking... Ok, here we have a conversation that says asking about family. Okay, guys, please listen carefully and then we are going to practice uh, the dialogue or the conversation, whatever we want to call it. And it is between two, two people, right? Rita and Sui. Rita said, and she's the one who started, tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Sue. Uh, well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure she's working on a very secret project right now. Rita, wow. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Mm, no, <clears throat> my sister away. My sister away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother, he's traveling in the Amazon. Oh. The two of them, uh, they never stay at home. They always are uh, out of home, right? Even even here in, in El Salvador, we always uh, are out of home. Just we are at home at night. Oh, but in the majority of the cases, it's weird to find uh, whatever you at home at night. <laughs> but in this case, you... Somebody can find you at home because you are in, supposedly in classes, right? <laughs> or maybe you are in a remote area that is not your home. Okay, guys, I would like to participate or two guys that really want to help me with the with the dialogue, right? Okay, between Rita and Sue. It's a very short and easy and interesting dialogue that we have right here. This one might help us to improve our speaking. In our pronunciation too. Who wants to help me today? Today, today. Who wants to help me? Wow. Oh, I'm going to see the team Marine de Dos Penguay. Hello, Ingrid. Ingrid, hello. Hello. Hello, Ingrid. Do you wanna be Rita? Okay. And let's go to see. Oh, okay, okay. What happened? And Ruth Noemi. Hello, Ruth. Hello from the bottom of your screen. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Ruth. Uh, the internet is failing. Someone is texting me that I said the internet is failing. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Uh, the two of you, right? Uh, Ruth, you're going to be Sue. Okay, yeah. at the count of three, we're going to start with the conversation. Okay, one, two, three. Let's start. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Uh -huh. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. Sure? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. 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 Right now. Right now. Now. Oh. Okay. Now. And okay. what about your brother? He's a with, a with life. Why life? Why? She's wildlife. Uh -huh. A wildlife photographer. Photographer. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. What an interesting family. 
can I meet Tim? Then, uh -huh. can I meet then? Okay. Then. Oh, oh no, my sisters, I why away away. She's uh -huh. not working in the United States. United States. This, this mom. This mom. Or in other words, in a USA. <laughs> <laughs> okay, in Rita, let's bro, continue. Eh? Is his tra no, no sé traveling? He's traveling in the Amazon. In the Amazon, but not in the Amazon web. No, in the Amazon, that part of, of Brazil. <laughs> Don't gonna get confused with that part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. We are kidding, guys. We are kidding. We had to to do a Kion icebreaker because you only some of you wake up or we're still getting in touch with, with, with the audience and all your classmates. Okay. We are going to... Oh, what about the other one? Why do you... Carla, you still having some technical issues with your camera? And I don't know the same happened to Karina, Elizabeth, and Kar Karina Yamilet, and, Ka and Karina Beatriz, and Elizabeth Barrientos. I don't know what, what is happening with your camera today. And Gabriela Garcia, and... I don't know what is happening. Henry, are you listening to us? Henry. Henry. Henry, are you listening to us? I don't know, but some, just a few. Okay, let's see. No estoy en, ah, she's not at home. Oh. Okay, she's not. A, she said that she's not at home. Also, Carla. Ah, okay, okay. But but send a text or send send a message because in that way we're going to know that you are not at home. That's why you don't have your camera on. Okay, and who to participate more? Floricia. Hello, Floricia. Hello, teacher. Would you like to help me to practice the conversation with Armando? I don't know if you want to help me today. Yes. Okay. Okay. Who is going to be Rita? Who's going to be Sue? Um, Rita. Rita. Armando, are you going to be Sue? Or Sue? <laughs> Armando, what about you? You're going to be Sue, right? Yeah, teacher. Okay, let's start at the count of three. One, two, three. Let's start it, guys. Tell me about your brother and sister, sweet. Armando, what? perdón. Well, <laughs> my sister works for the government. Oh, that does she, she do? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. She working on a very secret project right now. Uh -huh. Wow. And uh, what about your brother? He's a wild, 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 wildlife. Wildlife? Uh -huh. Photographer. Photographer, okay. What an interesting thing, family. Can interesting. I interesting family. Interesting family, uh huh. Can I meet the thing? Okay, can I meet them? Uh, no, my sister away. Uh, she's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. In the Amazon. He's traveling in the Finish. Amazon. In the Amazon. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Nelson, hello over there. Hi, Nelson. How are you, Nelson? Fine, take care. Okay, Nelson, would you like to help me today with, uh, with Don Jaime? Don Jaime, do you listen to me? Hi, teacher. Okay, Don Jaime and Nelson. Uh, who do you want to be, Nelson? Do you want to be Rita or Sue? Rita. Okay. Nelson is going to be Re Rita and Don Jaime, you're going to be Sue. Okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, we're going to start the count of three. One, two, three. Let's start, guys. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. 
Well, my sister works for the government. Uh -huh. Oh, what does she do? I am not sure. She's working on a very, very secret project very. right now. Uh -huh. Wow. And what about your brother? Uh -huh. It's a wildlife photographer. Photographer, uh -huh. photographer. What an uh, in, interesting family. I, interesting. Interesting family. Uh -huh. Can I meet them? Oh, no. My sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. Uh -huh. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Mm, okay, thank you, guys. Applauses for, for two of you. Okay, we're going to have the last one. Ana Graciela Ramos, hello. <laughs> hello, Ana Graciela. How are you? How hello, do you feel today? How do you feel today, Graciela? Uh, you feel good or you feel fine. bad? I'm you fine. feel fine. Fine, good, great, excellent, awesome. Wilfredo, Alberto Cana. Hello, Wilfredo. Do you want to help me with the conversation? Yes, teacher. Okay. Wilfredo and Graciela. Wilfredo is going to be Rita and Graciela is going to be Sui. Let's go to start at the count of three. Okay. One, two, and three. Let's start. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I don't know. She's I'm working. I'm not sure. On... Uh -huh. I'm not sure. Uh -huh. She's working on very secret project right now. Okay. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What? A wildlife, wildlife, wildlife photographer. He's a wildlife photographer. Mm -hmm. That's so. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Mm, no, my sister. Away. Oh, she's, oh, she's not working in the United States this moment. And your brother? He's traveling the Amazon. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for helping me today. Okay. Okay, guys, why we do this? In this in this case, uh, it is a good way in which we can practice uh, uh, some new work that we don't have seen before or we that never have practiced. In your case, uh, Ana Graciela, have you ever pronounced the uh, these words? ¿Alguna vez haya pronunciado esta palabra? Interesting. Interesting. Sí, ya lo he pronunciado, pero. Ajá. Interesting. Uh -huh. Interesting. Interesting. La, la que me dio problema es ahí. Well, like. Oh, wildlife. Wildlife. Uh, uh, it's a wildlife. Wildlife. Why we wildlife. do why we do this always? Because in this case, you learn and you hear properly how you really have to pronounce correctly those specific words. In some cases, just we only see the word, but don't do or we don't make the effort in order to pronounce it or or we don't work in the pronunciation correctly. Just we only see the word and just pass away and that's it. But we never or <laughs> or rarely pay attention to those words and we are still practicing, practicing, practicing by, by yourself in order you keep in mind the proper pronunciation of each word. There are a lot of, lot of variety of words that we don't know and we haven't seen before. But in those cases, are uh, uh, those cases are the ones that really help us to do that. That's why we always do that. 
because if you don't practice, you're never going to know how to pronounce properly or correctly those words. And don't be afraid, don't be shy about it. you make mistake at the moment to, to pronounce those words. Everybody can make mistake. And even there's a lot of words that I never have heard and never have seen in my life, but always I have to do or I always try to do my best, right? In order to help you guys. Por eso es que lo hacemos, ¿verdad? Esa es la manera en la cual siempre nos va a ayudar a nosotros ir practicando, 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 para que esas palabritas, esas, eh, eso es parte de la, de, 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 del vocabulario acquisition, la forma en aprender nuevo, nuevo vocabulario. Y decimos nosotros, ah, esto se decía así, ah, entonces esto quiere decir esto, ah, esto y lo otro. Esa es la manera en la cual nosotros, de poco, ¿verdad? Más y más y más. Porque de nada nos sirve que nos tengan nosotros toda una clase de, de cómo andar en bicicleta, pero si no nos dan una bicicleta y nos dicen subite en la bicicleta. Entonces, un diálogo a, a la larga es algo así, ¿verdad? Nos ayuda a nosotros siempre a... A, a desenvolvernos o, o a soltar la lengua, como decimos en buen salvadoreño, ¿verdad? Ok, guys, thank you. We are going to move to our next slide. Bueno. Ok, guys. Here we have pronunciation, intonation, in a statement. What we have here? Here we have one, two, three, three, one, three words, three, three points, three. How do you, how do we call to this that we have here? Three. A statement. A statement. Okay, thank you. Wilfredo, you were the one who said statements, right? Usted me lo dijo, ¿eh, Wilfredo? Uh, yes, teacher. Ah, okay. If you, if you see some words are easy to pronounce or the uh, majority of them we have heard before, right? In this case, Wilfredo, where did you have heard the word statement? Have you heard it before or until now? Mm -hmm. And before. Before. Oh, okay. That, that is how you always keep in your mind. That is the way in which uh, it's always keeping you, keeping you, you keep in your mind the majority of the time you you can or you want because and there's a, a large variety of of word in english but uh, just in the case of the bird they are like uh 2000 i think it's almost 3000 birds that we have in each bird and uh, might have synonyms and just that that only is the case of the bird but we have the vocabulary. And even in English, we have a lot of variety with synonyms. En el español, si ustedes han fijado, nosotros tenemos una gran lista de sinónimos. Lo mismo pasa en inglés, pero en inglés hasta, hasta es peor. Porque en inglés no solo podemos tener cinco, podemos tener hasta diez o quince sinónimos por una sola palabra. ¿Cuál es la diferencia de ello? En que el tecnicismo de las palabras, que una van a un formalismo más alto y otras van a un formalismo más, más bajo. Entonces, como se los decía yo anteriormente, en inglés o en español, usted nunca va a llegar donde un fulano que conoce por primera vez y le va a decir qué onda. Usted siempre llega en una forma polite, o sea, una forma educada, agradable y saluda. Buenas tardes, fulano de tal. Así mismo es en inglés, el vocabulario se estructura de esa manera. Este, lo más, o sea, polite, lo, lo más cool, por así decirlo, y like the, like the lower basic vocabulary, the, the, the one that you use with, with your friends, like, what's up, eh, what's cracking, guy, eh, how are you, how you been, what's going on, those kind of words, right? Okay, here we have some, stay, okay, it says, I mean, uh, here we have the statement, usually have falling intonation. What it means with falling intonation, guys? You see? That the intonation is going? Down. down. Going down. down. That, is, that is really means having falling intonation. And what about raising intonation? What about raising intonation? 
the intonation that is going up. up. Okay, the falling intonation is the one that is going down. And the raising intonation is the one that is going up, up, up and down, up and down. That's, that's what we have in English, the intonation. Even, the, even if you change a little bit the intonation in English, you, you can give another meaning to the other to the other one the, with the one you are talking. Even in Spanish happen though those cases are very famous in in, in, in Spanish. I'm going to, to to mention one in Spanish that is that is like uh the one that some of you might might use like how 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 was this one in Spanish? That you said y que te pasa pues if you see where the intonation is very, very off, it hurt like if you were mad or if you were angry with another person, right? But if you say in another way, ¿Qué te pasó? You see the difference, right? Mira la diferencia, va, chico? De uno al otro. En el inglés pasa lo mismito. Lo mismito, lo mismito, lo mismito. El intonation que ustedes utilizan en las palabras puede dar otro meaning, puede dar otro significado. No solo en el español tenemos eso. También nos puede suceder en el, nos puede suceder en, en el inglés. En el español a muchos nos ha pasado. Es lo mismo, pero con diferente entonación. O el, o, o el famoso dicho que dice, bajala tu tonito. ¿Han escuchado ustedes eso? La famosa frase que es, bajar a tu tonito, bajar a tu tono. ¿Pero a qué se quiere referir eso? Eso se quiere referir de que el otro individuo, cuando uh, ustedes rise the intonation, they are feeling like you were mad or you were angry with them. But maybe that's not the case. But if your intonation is falling down, gives another meaning or, or gives or transmit another idea to another person. That's why it is important how to use properly the up and down or the falling or the rising intonation. Intonation also interferes in what you are going to mean or the idea you want to transmit to the other person. Okay, here we have one, two, three statement. The first one said, I'm working in Singapore. He was talking about a country, right? She's waiting at the bus stop. If you said bus stop, bus stop, the intonation is falling down. They're living at home. They're living at home. Because you're going you are not going to say they live at home. No, because you are saying in in, in like if you were mad, if you say they are living at home, the intonation, if you, uh -huh, ustedes lo podrían decir como que estuviesen bravos, they're living at home. O, o sea, como el buen salvadoreño se dice por salir de compromiso, le están diciendo, pues, o, o, o le están diciendo de otra manera, they are living at home. Ellos están, o ellos viven en in the casa. If you say in another way, the idea is going to be transmitted in a different way to another person that you are talking of, right? Okay, I think this is, I think this is going to be all for today, guys. Same for your attention. I really appreciate it, that you always being on time, even though you have a uh, problem with the traffic, problem uh, with the internet, even if you were not at home, you always try to connect to the classes. And I really appreciate that effort, right? I always I always tell you that. I think in the whole class, I tell you that. Okay, guys, I'm going to, to call the roll. We're going to see the attendance list for, for today. Let's go into. I'm going to see how many. One, two. 
Oh, yeah, there's the majority of you guys. Here we have the majority. Okay, now we are going to see the attending list, guys. Right? Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, here we have. Okay, guys, uh, let's go to see who is the first one. Ana Graciela Ramos Garcia. You were there, right? Okay, thank you, Graciela. Thank you. Uh, Anderson Jeremy. I said, I think Anderson is having. Yeah, he said he was there, but he was having issues with the internet. Armando Antonio, you were there, right? Yes. Thank you, Armando. Black Stephanie, are you there? Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Karina Beatriz Núñez de Figueroa. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Karina. Thank you. Carlos Aníbal Martínez. Carlos, are you there? Carlos Aníbal. Who is Carlos? Where is Carlos? Guys, chicos y Carlos? No está. Ah, she, he's, not, he's not there. Okay, sorry, Carlos. Sorry. Daniela Alejandra? I am teacher. Okay, thank you, Daniela. Diana Patricia? Here, teacher. Okay, thank you, Diana. Elsa Noelia? Here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Floricia Mengibar Vigil. Hello, teacher. Oh, hello. <laughs> Henry Alexander Hidalgo. Henry, what happened? You are connected, but... Oh, you are, you are there, but you are having problem, right, Henry? Okay. Uh, Ingrid Esmeralda Cornejo. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Jaime Iván Ventura, you were there, right, Iván? I am here, teacher. Okay, thank you, Iván. And also for being helping me today at class. <laughs> uh, Jocelyn Alicia. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Are you awake or you're falling asleep? <laughs> Jocelyn? No, teacher, I'm here. <laughs> ah, okay, okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay, Karina Yamile González. Present teacher. Thank you, Karina. What about Carla, Carla Gabriela García? Present teacher. Okay, thank you, thank you. Marimelda Mengibar Gómez. Present teacher. Thank you. Uy, I, I used two, two, one, <laughs> double participation. <laughs> María Imelda Mejíbar. Present teacher. Thank you. María Wendy Guadalupe, you were there, right? I'm here, teacher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I keep you, I keep you. <laughs> Marisol de Los Ángeles. Present teacher. Okay, Miguel Ángel Clemente. Present teacher. Thank you, Miguel. Nelson Rutilio. Present teacher. You are, there. you are there. Thank you, Nelson. Jose Romel Marín Ortiz. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Ronald Alexander Rodríguez Posada. Present teacher. Thank you, Ronald. <clears throat> Rosa Lisa de Barrientos. I you. Okay, thank you. Ruth Noemi Núñez. Present. Oh, thank you, Ro. And Wilfredo, you were there, right? Yeah, I am. <clears throat> okay, thank you, guys. And guys, uh, what I was telling you at the beginning of the class, I was observing, I was watching the majority of you have work in, in the activities in the the that you have in the in the group, right? How many of you have completed the activity? I think the majority. Actividad del libro. Activity one, two, three, four, all of them. I already finished. Okay, that's great. That's great. At the, at, uh, on Thursday, I think we're going to to be working with, with the with the test of the session five. Don't worry for that. We're going to do the similar how we did the 
the last section, right? Did you remember that we were doing like a feedback? That's what we're going to do on Thursday. Okay, guys, thank you for attention. Thank you for your participation too. And I hope you have a great night and you be on time tomorrow. Try to be on time. <laughs> Try to be on time because the sooner we start, the sooner we finish, right? Tan pronto se empieza, tan pronto también se puede terminar. Okay, I really appreciate your attendance for today. Thank you. Have a good night and try to recover energy while you were sleeping. <laughs> okay, guys, see you tomorrow. Thank you. And see you tomorrow. Have a good night and take care. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. See you. Bye bye, guys. <laughs>